Well, as it turns out, the ultimate CPU that we've all been waiting for might just be right around the corner. Before that, this video is brought to you by Jawa. Jawa's mission is to be the community for safely buying and selling PC parts at a reasonable price, offering low fees and great customer service, which I can definitely attest to as I personally bought this RTX 3070 from Jawa anonymously, and not only did it arrive quickly, but when I ran into an issue, they immediately replaced it with a flawless substitute and asked that I only send the old one back after I confirmed the new GPU worked great. And the best part is the price I got this card at was well below other listings I could find anywhere else, likely thanks in part to Jawa's much lower seller fees of 9-12% to depending on when you join. So if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts on a platform with low fees and great customer service, be sure to click the link in the description below and watch out for some of my hardware that will likely be popping up very soon. Alright, so let's jump into this one. This information actually comes from the website WCCF Tech, and according to an article that they just put out, well, apparently, you're gonna be getting what I'm gonna be calling the 9970X3D. That's right, we're talking about a further improvement on the 9950X3D, AMD's current flagship CPU with 16 cores and 32 threads and one of those core clusters with X3D cache, except for this one, which I'm dubbing the 9970X3D, apparently could have both CCDs or core clusters using X3D cache, and this would pretty much solve all of the problems with the 9950X3D and make it not only an awesome chip for multi-core rendering and anything like that, but it would also make it just basically flawless for gaming, for the most part. So in any case, Take a look here, they state, quote, AMD Ready's two new three V-Cache Ryzen 9000 Zen 5 desktop CPUs, eight core with 96 megabytes and 16 core with 192 megabytes dual X3D. And they do quote the user Chili Dog over on Twitter. This is absolutely ridiculous that this is what it's come to. But yes, a leaker on Twitter apparently goes by Chili Dog. Of course, take this with a grain of salt, but according to them, it's going to have a 200 watt TDP and yes, 192 megabytes of L3 cache. So assuming that this is correct, and we do end up seeing the CPU as a gaming CPU, as the 9970X3D, well, what should you expect and why should you even be excited for this CPU? Well, like I mentioned earlier, the 9950X3D, it's an awesome CPU, but for gaming, it can sometimes, and I mean every once in a while, have an issue that can bring down the overall frame rate when you do something like a 10 game average. Now, if we do pull up something like a review over here from TechSpot, which I'll have linked in the description below, you can see that already the 9950X3D is technically just barely ahead of the 9800X3D, but the 9950X3D has been silicon in it, which means it can run at higher clock speeds, so it should definitely be performing better, especially if it has double the cores. So if you have double the V-Cache as well, I actually do believe you would see a significant jump in performance overall as any cross CCD communication, well, it's going to be mitigated by the massive increase in cache once again. And in those rare instances where a game accidentally goes to the wrong core cluster, well, you're not going to get a massive smack across the face when it comes to performance in that game. No, it'll just go, oopsie, I went to the wrong core cluster. Well, it still has 3D cache, so you're really not going to get much of a drop in performance, maybe just a couple hundred megahertz on the clock speed. So actually, I would expect a 9970X3D to slot in just above the 9950X3D, and instead of giving you something like 216 frames per second on average, you'd probably be looking at something like 240 frames per second, 250 frames per second, where you will see a separation between the 9800X3D and the 9970X3D instead of basically neck and neck. And again, it'll be far more more consistent and you'll be able to finally do everything else with your CPU with double the amount of cores and again no drawbacks. Oh and I forgot to mention you might be wondering why are they bringing this out now? Well apparently there's a lot of AI workloads that actually do scale really well with 3D cache. And between that and gamers constantly giving AMD all kinds of grief about not giving us a dual X3D variant, apparently possibly those two things together may have finally led them to creating this CPU. I'm just hoping that the price is not insane, but I would probably expect at least a $50, if not a $100 price jump 
on the CPU. So this would be a very, very exciting CPU. Now they did mention another CPU apparently that's gonna have 3D V cache. And it looks like this one's just gonna be an eight core variant of some sort. And if I was to guess, it's probably gonna be a 9700 XRD, basically a lower clocked 9800 XRD. So that'll be awesome if that comes in at a lower price as well. But for me personally, I was very excited, maybe too excited for the 9950 XRD. And then when I found out it only had XRD cache on one of the cores, I said, no thanks, not for me, but this could change everything. But hey, that's just why I think, do you think that a 9970 XRD could end up getting released possibly by the end of this year? Or do you think that this is just grasping at straws and it won't end up coming to the consumer space? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.